up everybody another chilly day it's actually snowing a little bit today but we're on the hunt today going in a couple thrift stores hopefully we can find something good so take you with us let's do it got a couple nice pairs of pants here this is a pair of carhartt double knees does not matter if there's stains that's kind of irrelevant these are going to sell no matter what in some cases actually the more banged up they are the better for these carhartts and then this is a pair of Raleigh denim. I've actually never heard of this brand before. I'm gonna try to, should be able to get that out. But uh, for $2.99, some pretty crazy comps on these too. So definitely keep an eye out for Raleigh denim. shoes here and pick up these women's Nikes these are like almost brand new pretty nice got a pair of women's Nike Pegasus running shoes they need cleaned up a little bit but they're actually pretty nice pretty new and then last but not least a pair of Hoka's these sell pretty much no matter the condition unless they're like completely destroyed so five bucks each a pair of Chacos Six bucks. I've seen the sandals before, but I've never seen the uh, the shoes. All right, you guys. So we just had a little bit of luck in the women's section at this Goodwill here. Got like four T-shirts. Got a Hard Rock Toronto single stitch. It's like a newer shirt, but it's still cool. Protect the ocean, save the planet. I have to look into this a little bit more, but it's like a really cool art piece from 1990 made in London, England. So I have to do some research on this, but it is old. So I'm gonna pick this up. The find of the day is the 1994 REM Tour T-shirt, baby. Stitch, big question mark. It's like on this overdyed through the loom tag. But this thing is sweet. It's gonna be like three bucks. 1994 tour shirt. Never find this anymore it's on the racks. So awesome. I'm not gonna be picking this up, but check this out. We got the Grant Hill frosted mini wheats. Just the box. The cereal has been eaten. Let's see if we can find a date on this thing. 1995. Pretty cool little piece of history here. Windy as hell out today. Warm and windy. together y'all blink 182 anything on the back it's only nine bucks well, I don't think it's like a tour shirt but still pretty neat blink 182 just announced their uh, world tour getting back together what do you think kind of dig it Got the uranium glass Steelers hat, ten dollars. Steelers sweatshirt, two of these size, X large and large. Ten bucks. Ten each. bucks. Six dollars. Check this one out. We got a front Ohio State. We got a back Ohio ten State. Six bucks. We gotta get it. And another Ohio State. And we are still looking. We're still looking. This ain't it. It ain't over till it's over. And then of course you got the Bob Ross with the squirrel on his shoulder. And 
Really cool Notre Dame hat, but I never am able to sell Notre Dame stuff very good. So unfortunately, probably gonna leave that. If this doesn't sell out of market, then I'm keeping it. You think you're gonna but get I'm it? gonna give it a chance to sell. Yeah, that first. one's awesome. Big fan. I love hot pink. Speaking of big fan, there's Gumby. What up? <laughs> yeah. Here's me and Lena. I actually like that. It says nail polish tobacco. It's got like the old this barn on it. The I hate ironing sign. Oh, I hate ironing. Couldn't agree more, honestly. I really like this. I wish there was a way to get it clean, but I think these stains are in there pretty good. Another quick stop. Had a couple more finds. So here we just have a pretty plain pair of Tommy Hilfiger vintage jeans. They go for like 25 or so. Really cool vintage, almost Coogee style sweater by Protege. And then last but not least, the coolest find. You now I always talk about the three stripe chuckers. Well, here is a really good one, Playboy. I haven't looked it up yet to see how much it's gonna be worth, but I'm assuming it's gonna be worth a pretty penny. It's five bucks here. And then the coolest part is still with the original tag. So we'll look this up and see what it's worth, but super stoked on this one. With these Nikes here, Nike Worldwides, look pretty nice. Five bucks a pair of Amexes. Pretty cool golf sweater. Don't think I need it, but I can appreciate it. I also got this Oakland Raiders, it's definitely an older one. It's a fitted hat. Team Nike, a little beat up, but probably still like 25 bucks. Just came up on this nice little Ohio State Buckeyes 2003 Fiesta Bowl crew neck. So pretty old, but almost 20 years old. And these things actually sell super well for me at our market. So these go for like 25 bucks all day. Three bucks. Cedar Point. Rough week, might as well. Vintage Christmas stuff, just cute little kitties. <laughs> I do have like several of those and already. And this is not vintage, but it's cool. Yeah, that's and nice. And we like deer. We'll take that one for sure. <laughs> All right, so we are back home. I actually just finished making this little photo station the other day. So this is actually like in my closet in my office. I don't really use this little area. It's got like these little stair steps back here. And I never really used it. And I wanted to have a space to take some like standing photos of t-shirts. And this just happens to like work out pretty much perfectly. So this is that REM shirt that I found today at the thrift. Absolutely crazy. So it's like almost a slate gray color. It's got like an amazing fade to it. For the loom tag. Pretty awesome. And it's just kind of a perfect shirt to show off this nice little photo booth. I'll show you all the back. There you go. So yeah, this shirt, I think from the small bit of research I've done, it's like a $75 shirt or so. It's pretty rare to find like good vintage band tees at Goodwills these days, at least at the racks. You can find them at the bins, but anything at like your standard Goodwill, Goodwill stores, they are going through that stuff and selling it online. So this stuff to make it actually out onto the floor is pretty rare, but pretty sick. So yeah, I've had this little photo station here for a couple days now it's definitely sped up my photographing process and my listing process that's like the one thing i think i struggle with the most when it comes to to listing and ebay is just the length of time that it takes me to uh to get things listed so trying to just become more efficient at that and things are going good so yeah happy about it my little south park collection i got here so these guys i got back in the day for 15 bucks i've had it for like two years i got it right before the pandemic hit it's got the date on here february 1st 2020 got this out in phoenix arizona they have like a little bit of cracking on them so i'm just kind of keeping them in the collection but pretty cool little piece we'll go ahead and wrap this one up you guys just a nice little compilation of thrifting that i've had over the past couple days hope you all enjoyed we're gonna get back to work here but we'll catch you soon see ya